recommend the sterling contribution of OCHA and uh, WHO, especially for providing increased medical supplies and rendering life-saving services and surgical procedures. Kazakhstan reiterates its support for the selfless commitment of OCHA and other humanitarian organizations to ease the suffering of the Yemeni people in their present difficult and challenging circumstances. Since the start of this month, uh, humanitarian partners had reached about 60,000 people with emergency assistance and response. Over 2 million people still remain displaced across the country due to the conflict, 90% of whom fled their homes more than a year ago. It is necessary to increase the humanitarian emergency aid and provide unhindered access to all areas of Yemen. We emphasize that all obligations under international humanitarian law must be respected by all parties and take responsibility to mitigate the humanitarian situation by cooperating fully with UN and relevant humanitarian organizations. The large-scale vaccinations to control the spread of diphtheria in uh, Yemen is by WHO, UNICEF, and health authorities is noteworthy. This campaign targeted nearly 2.7 million children aged 6 weeks to 15 years in 11 governorates. As of 1st of March this year, the World Food Program had reached over 6 million people with emergency food assistance, safe drinking water for nearly 2 million people by rehabilitating urban water systems and rural water schemes was provided with water truck to nearly 375,000 of the most vulnerable IDPs. My delegation welcomes the decision of the coalition to keep open all Yemeni main ports, including Hodeida and Salif, for that would allow humanitarian commercial cargo without restrictions, similar to how it was importing 90% of its staple food. Maintaining the flow of these imports is absolutely essential for humanitarian cases. On the political track, we are alarmed by the resurgence of the hostile situation in Yemen, particularly in Yemen's southern Hudaydah governorate, about 100 kilometers south of Hudaydah port, and the Saada governorate in northern Yemen. Airstrikes and clashes are also intensified in the neighboring Al Jaf uh, governorate. Kazakhstan therefore calls on all parties to commit themselves to establish a new regime for the cessation of hostilities. Such temporary spit would enable the population and create conditions for the resumption of negotiations. It is obvious that solving all outstanding issues and stabilizing the country will require many years of additional effort and involvement of the international community. However, the cessation of hostilities will provide an opportunity to revive the economy resolve the humanitarian crisis and restore basic public services to the population, which has been severely affected over the past three years. Achieving this goal should be a priority for the Council. In general, the Security Council should work more resolutely to resolve the Yemeni conflict and consider the situation in the context of stabilizing the situation in the entire region, as well as combating terrorism and the humanitarian mission to preserve the lives of civilians and to withdraw the country from the state of war. A key role in this belongs to the Special Envoy. We have repeatedly said that a balanced external support uh, for a settlement in Yemen could effectively complement the work of the Special Envoy. The search for a peaceful resolution of the conflict through dialogue and confidence-building measures should be intensified, and an urgent universal ceasefire must be reached without preconditions. It will not be possible to achieve a victory by military means exclusively. It is necessary to prevent the emerging split of the country. All parties in Yemen need to find compromises and reject unilateral decisions that could harm the peace process. At the same time, we think that the parties to the conflict are obliged to refrain from committing acts that lead to an escalation of regional situation and security. It is not acceptable to strike rocket attacks against civilian targets on the territory of Saudi Arabia, which Kazakhstan strongly condemns. All parties should exercise restraint amid mounting tensions, and military escalation is not a solution. Yemen is the world's worst humanitarian crisis, with more than 22 million people, three quarters of the population, in need of humanitarian aid and protection. In such critical conditions, it is important that the UN has started a plan for further actions. We were glad that in Geneva, 
in April 3rd with the generous contributions from Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Kuwait, uh, and more than over and over than 30 other countries, more than 2 billion were pledged to support the humanitarian response in Yemen. Kazakhstan was also a part of this effort. We endorse SG's opinion that humanitarian resources are very important, but they're not enough. It is essential that they reach the people in need. Lastly, we also call upon the parties to the conflict to demonstrate sincerity and flexibility, to avoid disagreements in the course of consultations, and to properly resolve complex issues, in particular withdrawal of forces, disarmament, and the formation of a government of a national consent, in order to achieve a comprehensive settlement taking into account the national conditions in Yemen and the concerns of all parties. We fully agree with the words of Secretary General that a negotiated political settlement through inclusive intra-Yemeni dialogue is the only solution. I thank you.